we are going to head over to Carolyn Joyce and get caught up on all of the action that happened in the pool tonight. Kara, tonight was a matchup. Let's just hit it out of the gate. 200 IM for men. 200 IM for men. Um, I think tonight was actually my favorite night of racing. So we're, you know, well past the night halfway six. point. Night six. Yeah. Oh my, what day is Here it? We go. Well past the halfway point. And all, the matchups tonight, all the races I thought were phenomenal. But men's 200 IM, we have to talk about this. We have to. We had Lochte and Phelps in a classic matchup going head to head. The stands were on their feet. Everyone was, was cheering, you know, this was the race to watch. This mm -hmm. was the main event tonight. And we talked about how Michael just turned 31. Mm -hmm. Brian is also in his early 30s. I think it was a great race. You know, they were, they were stroke for stroke the entire way. However, I would have actually liked to see them maybe go a little bit faster, <laughs> but I'm assuming they probably left some stuff in the tank too. So that race, we're going to see it again, advance to Rio, and I look forward to it. And they were stroke for stroke up until the very last lap. And, yeah. you know, it was really anyone's race at that point. And I agree with you. I think that they'll be a lot faster in Rio. Yeah. But, I mean, that rivalry, that's the last time that they're going to swim that race on American soil. Which, yeah. yeah, continues to blow my mind. And then 30 <laughs> minutes later, Michael stepped up for the 100 Butterfly semifinal. Yeah, Michael had his 100 Butterfly semifinal. Um, this race, I think, is going to unfold very interesting. We had Steph, Seth Steubenfield at first place. Michael Phelps is actually seated sixth going into finals tomorrow mm -hmm. night. And it's it's a young, hungry field. Tim Phillips with a personal best time of a 51-2 is oh, wow. seated second. And Tim is also the love interest of Katie Miley, one of our <laughs> other qualifiers <laughs> in the 100 that. breaststroke. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So I'm sure he'd love to get on the team with her. Um, but I, I don't think that that race is locked up with Michael. I think that it is going to be anyone's swim tomorrow and it'll be pretty, pretty cool to watch. Yeah, and I think so, especially, I mean, he had obviously the adrenaline, everything going from the 200 IM. I'm curious to see what kind of swim he puts together, maybe swimming a little bit more fresh, um, have some legs in a system to come home. Yeah. And, and Michael's not one to back down from a challenge no. in the hundred fly. If, if there's a race that, you know, he's stolen finishes from yeah. <laughs> the most famous one of all time is probably his finish in 2008 exactly. against Mike Kavik. Um, he repeated that again in 2009 against Mike Kavik and he he likes this race he likes to keep mm -hmm. it close to the heart so especially those last 15 meters you can never count him out the way that he comes home is it's unlike anything in the field even at 31 even at 31 <laughs> okay so we had the finals of the women's hunter freestyle tonight and it was fast it was very fast first of all what was it like for you to watch that because this is one of your races this is a race yeah. that's near and dear to your heart yeah this is an event that I have won in the past yep. um, I've qualified in this event I've also just missed making this event yeah uh, so you feel that heartbreak too um, I would say this was one of the better sprint races we've seen out of the United States women in several years. Mm -hmm. Abby Whitesell with a very strong, um, very strong swim to start out our final 53.2. Wow. And that's pretty close to the American record. I, I think she might be the second fastest American of all time. Simone punching her ticket, um, actually both Simone and Abby punching their ticket for the first time. And for tomorrow night, um, oh, I'm sorry. Let's get back to this relay. Amanda Weir in third. Wow. So my dear friend, my, my mm -hmm. roommate from the 2004 Olympics, Amanda Weir, 30 years old, really happy to see her in there. Leah Neal punching her ticket and Katie Ledecky just missing that. I'm, wow. she would have been the first person to ever qualify in an event from the hundred oh. up to the 800 thinking that tomorrow is going to go as we plan. Yeah. But well, the thing with that whole final is every single person in that final is on the Olympic team is yes. from what it looks like. Um, you know, as long as we take six, every single person there, um, Kelsey, as well as Katie Ledecky already qualified. Yes. So I'll be curious to see what that relay looks like when we go on to Rio, but fast across the board. And I mean, Katie Ledecky proves that you, there's nothing she can't really do. A 53 in on her freestyle. <laughs> it's impressive. And she swam an 800 this morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, continues it's to impress. It's a warm down for her. I know, a warm down. <laughs> okay, next we have the 200 breaststroke for women. Women's 200 breaststroke final, 224.0 Lily King with her second event. Mm -hmm. And then we saw kind of a similar race that we had with the men last night. Um, Josh Pruneau came came on really strong in the last 15 meters last night with a big tempo. And we saw that same thing out of Molly Hannes um, tonight to get that second place finish. So a great race out of those ladies, um, you know, and unfortunately Mika Lawrence out in fourth place. She was our qualifier from 2012. Um, so it's, it's tough. You know how yeah. it is being on the other side of that. And I it completely is, know. Yeah. Yeah. You're exactly right. So we're moving on to the 200 backstroke for men. 200 backstroke for men. Kind of unexpected. Wait, yeah? Yeah, I don't know. It, it was an interesting race from the beginning to end. I mean, obviously, I'm so excited for Ryan Murphy. Yes. Somebody, I mean, he, he cleaned up the backstrokes. <laughs> he did. <laughs> he did. Jacob Pebbly getting in there, his teammate. Um, and we saw Tyler Clary. You know, he is the Olympic champion from this event. 
four years ago, and he definitely fought for it. He yeah. pushed and he fought for it, um, but he came out in that third place finish, unfortunately. Um, but also very happy for those two guys. Mm -hmm. That's the thing. It's it's really difficult. You know, you're happy for the people that qualify, but your heart also breaks for those that come in third. Exactly. And I I thought that they had a really nice moment there in the pool because you saw the two boys who placed first. And so second. much respect between the three of them. So much respect, and I yeah. think that that's something um, that's that's really unique to the U.S. is when you're in the ready room, it's people who you've grown up with and mm -hmm. you compete with at a really high level and everybody wants this so bad. And once it happens, you know, you're excited and you celebrate and then, you know, there's somebody that's getting out of the water that didn't get the thing that they wanted. And so to right. see that compassion from the two um, who made the team was really, really cool to see. Well, and if you think about how many people are entered in this meet, we have over 1,800 swimmers competing and 52 of them will walk away mm -hmm and be Olympians after this meet. And that's a lot of disappointment. It's that's a, lot. a lot of tears in there. Exactly right. So, so for semifinals for the night, we had the 50 free for men. Yes, 50 Splash free for men. <laughs> one of my personal favorite yep. races. Um, we saw the old guy, 35 year old Anthony Irvin out mm -hmm. in front with a 21.5. I believe that's the third fastest time in the world this year. Wow. And Anthony and Nathan, no strangers going head to head together. They were stroke for stroke in this 50 in the same semifinal heat with Anthony edging Nathan, which we don't see too often. Mm -hmm. But based on the speed that he showed in his 100 free earlier at this meet, it really is no surprise how well he's doing in his 50 right now. Yeah, I'm excited to see that tomorrow night. I think it's going to be a fast one from, yeah. from top to bottom. Yeah. Um, so the last one was 200 backstroke for women. 200 backstroke for women. Semi-final, we have Maya Dorado mm -hmm. as our number one seed wow. going in. To, she's been on fire. She has she, been on fire and, this whole meet. Yeah, and just watching her stroke, it's it's so great when you see such a beautiful swimmer really hit their taper. Yep. Her backstroke was very smooth. She was catching a ton of water, so no surprise that she was out with that 208 low. And then we have Missy in second. Mm -hmm. I think another strong swim for her, 208.6, with those long arms on that finish. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then, you know, team favorite, Elizabeth Beisel, mm -hmm. we were just talking about her earlier. She's in there at fifth, swimming with a broken finger. So definitely mm -hmm. a strong effort from hers. But, you know, we talked about this earlier today. Beisel is tough. So she tough. is somebody that you don't want to go yeah. head to head with. And I think she's fired up right now. I saw her shortly after and was asking her kind of about the finger and what happened because, you know, in warm up pool, we, you know, slap hands with people all the time. Yes. All the time. And it she, usually feels like your hand shatters, but it doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> but hers actually did break. Yeah, it did break. But she, she could feel that it was something a little bit different. So obviously they went to get it checked out yeah. and um, they're keeping a close eye on it. But I think she's fired up. I think she wants this and, you know, she, she can rest tomorrow morning and then come back tomorrow night and put together a great swim. Yeah. And I was talking to her coach. Chuck Batchelor, her club coach, and he said he spent the entire day with her when they went to the hospital and mm -hmm. got her x-rays, and he said, you know, this made her angry. Yep. And angry Beisel <laughs> is much scarier than sad Beisel. Yep. She was angry and she wants it. She's ready to go for it, you know, and, and this is her race, this 200 backstroke. Yep. She qualified for her first Olympics as a teenager. Yeah, just a teenager. <laughs> 2008, yeah. yeah. So she's been on the scene with this one for a long time. Cool. Well, I cannot wait to see what they throw down in that tomorrow. Thanks, Kara. <laughs> no problem. <laughs>